Yep, yep. Get it, get it. Deuce. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword Walkthrough. And there's the clicker again. Holy crud. Need to stop doing that. Anywho, guys, in our last episode, we went to Route 9, and we actually got ourselves a new upgrade to our bike. We can actually cross the river, lakes, oceans, what have you. And it will actually come in handy when we go back into the Pokemon training area, Pokemon wild area, to actually capture Pokemon and get a lot more of those uh, rare candy thingies because, well, yeah, we're going to be needing them for later on. Anywho, here we are in uh, Route 9, the corner of Spike Month. And, well, there are a lot of Pokemon right here. Quite a few Pokemon that, yes, I will capture later on. Things that I, I should have been doing off screen. And, well, look at this, guys. We are in Spike Month now. I don't know, but there's trainers right here. You know what? Let's battle some trainers. Let's grab some items before we start doing some other stuff, too. You know, we all like those actions, right? And here we have the scope lens. An item held by a Pokemon. Its lens are for scoping out weak points. It's boost to uh, the holder's critical hit ratio. Okay. Okay, that's cool. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and start battling some Pokemon trainers right here. Because, well... I know we can. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Uh, yeah, my Pokemon went through nice, a nice, uh, you know, a nice battle here and there. So let's go straight to Bex. Try to get this thing over and done with right here. So let's go. All right. Sing, dance. Let's make it, uh, let's make this party a hall. A party a hall. If I dance, I shine. My Pokemon, uh, shines brighter too. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and battle another Pokemon trainer right here. Or two trainers, the music crew, Owen and Andrea. Okay. So, it looks like they got themselves a, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, Toxis, or Toxistracy. I can't even pronounce that name right. Uh, let's see. Let's go with a Poison Jab to Maractus. And let's go with uh, a Zen Headbutt to Toxtricity. Okay, Zen Headbutt. You hardly use it, but it's a psychic type move. Does its trick. Say goodbye. The high note, Psychicity. And, well, there's more points right there. And, well, let's see. Blitzkrieg going with the, uh, yeah, the poison jab right there. And Maractus has been defeated. Yes. Oh, yes. Feeling great about that. And I think that's all their Pokemon, huh? Is it? I don't know. I, I need to keep an eye out for that. Yep, that was her Pokemon. Wow. Does he have a Golden Grill? Oh, that's that's odd. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Anywho, let's uh, not get attacked by this Pokemon and try and get some uh, berries right here. There's one. There's two. And yes, these Pokemon are going to attack us. And more than likely, we're not going to be able to get any uh, any berries because well, look at this big old fat greedent. Yeah, he's gonna take all our berries. Well, that was there for nothing. And yes, all the berries are gone away. Oh, one Tanga berry. One Chopla berry. Okay, never mind. Okay, so here we are in Spike Month. And something is going on right here. Something big. Look at that. Spike Month looks run down. And he's like, I can't enter Spike Month, so I've just been hanging around here the whole time. No one can challenge a dark type leader like this. What's with the gate being shut? How am I supposed to get the gym badge now? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe if you went the other way. <laughs> and here is Marnie, and she's like, Hey, Draven. Oh, uh, hello there, my gothic love. Let's go ahead and, uh... Wait, where'd she go? Never mind. Okay, so, yes, there will be some interesting Pokemon right here, too. Keep aware of that one, and there she is. Man, she, 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 she is lovely. The goth really fits her. And, well, before we go to her, let's go ahead and grab this. We got ourselves three guard specs. And, uh, well, let's see. Well, hello there. I was born here, so another way in. If you want to if you wanna get into the town, how about I show you the way? But you're my rival, so you'll have to beat me in a battle first. Got it? Sure. Okay. And just like that, Team Yell is out here, and they're like, You've had a pretty good win streak in the in the gym challenge, so like me, I respect you as my rival. And all of that. But I got too much to stake to go just uh, around losing now. 
Okay, never mind. I, I didn't even read that correctly, but here it is. Taking on a Pokemon trainer Marnie. I love the theme song right here, and she is gonna come out with the Leopard. Okay, let's go. Leopard, how's it going? And again, the Goth really works on her. So let's go right ahead and uh, do a poison jab right here because, well, let's, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, what the heck? Okay, so here we go. Poison jab for the win. How's it going? Oh, Leopard. You're, you're, you're surviving right there. So here we go with this overdrive in. Yep, give it to Marnie to be very, very, very... Uh, what was it? The prepared and all that stuff. That didn't really make any sense, but you know what I mean, guys. So there we go. Leopard has been defeated. Mm -hmm. And that will increase our experience for, uh, for all our Pokemon. And she's coming out with another one. So let's go straight to Bex, since it does have its double kick attack. One thing that's really, uh, one thing that's really making me angry, or it's just, it, it just makes me. Well, one thing that just it, it doesn't really sit well with me is the fact that even though Bex can learn Double Kick, it can't learn, uh, it can't learn, what was it called again, um, uh, what was it, Brick Break. It just doesn't make any sense. I'm only, well, my only assumption is that this Pokemon, because it's a big old rabbit and its strongest body parts are legs, yeah, it's probably what it is. I don't know. Comment down below, guys. So here we go. Bending up like Beckman, and there we go. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to Scrappy. Alrighty, alright. Okay, so there we go. More experience points for all our Pokemon. And she's gonna come out with a Toxic Croak. So I got the Pokemon ready for you. Do I? Do I really? Um. Yeah, that's exactly what we needed. We needed a Psychic type Pokemon. <laughs> that's probably the reason why. That's probably the reason why we're gonna. Why we might switch Pokemon. I don't know. So here comes a poison jab. And that right there hits us pretty good. So let's go straight for in a Zen Earth for a headbutt. And that right there takes out Toxic Curve. Oh yeah. Okay. And well, we're still poisoned. I guess she still has one more Pokemon, I think. And she's gonna come out with a more Pico. Yes, we all know what this Pokemon can do, so let's go ahead and go straight to Kiss. Cannot wait till Dreepzilla evolves. Really can't. Okay. As expected of my rival, I really know how to get me riled up. Okay, alrighty, so here comes more Pico. I... You know, funny story. I did compare one of my clients to more Pico. Not because, well, you know, it's tiny, well, it's because it's tiny, but the, the fact that, like, there's a hangry mode, and there's a happy mode, a full mode, and all that stuff, and, well, here comes the hangry mode. Yeah, that's exactly what she looks like, so. Oh, twice in a row? Never mind. All right, Seed Bomb for the win. And especially special she's been saving for such an occasion. Okay. And here comes this, wait, that's not really a special attack right there, so here comes Seed Bomb for the win. That's right. Okay. And look at that. Blitzkrieg grows into the level. And we have defeated our rival Marnie, our gothic girlfriend. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And she's like, My partner Morpico has been interested in you and your strength, and I think I get it now. But I've been everyone in. Uh, I, I've got everyone in Spike Month supporting me. Hmm. I'm definitely gonna get all eight badges uh, just so I can uh, have a rematch with you. Don't you forget it. I'll get my revenge in the Champion Cup. Anyway, I promise I'll show you the way in, so follow me. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Alrighty, so we're gonna be walking in. We'd normally stop right here, but no. Here we are in Spike Month. And they're really... Wow, it, it is... Wow, it is... Wow. Oh, wow. It is a uh, interesting place to be. Spike month. Okay, so first is first. We're gonna heal up our Pokemon, guys. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back at Spike month. Got my Pokemon healed. There really isn't a lot into this place. As you can see, our gothic girlfriend Marnie. She's like, with with the shutter closed, nobody's gonna be able to challenge the gym. Gotta look into this. Hmm. 
I just happen to have ma too many of these, so I'll give you one. Got it? You can handle yourself, right? And, well, we got Pierce's Pokemon League card. And, well, here we have a Team uh, Yell Grind. He's like, Oi! Welcome to Spike Month, kid. Hope you're ready for the gym mission. Oh, hold on, mate. If you're going to take on the gym mission, you'd better change your, your uniform. Oh, I can't even say it. Okay, so technically this is the poke. Wow, oh, we are in a mission now. So, yeah, like I said, guys, there's not a lot that you can actually find here in Spike Month. Um, in fact, this place is probably not sanctioned for Dynamax and all that stuff. Uh, it's a very, very easy... Very easy place to get through when it comes to, you know, uh, when it comes to the gym battles here in, in Galar. And, well, let's see, they're, they're all dark type trainers, so there really isn't a lot, a lot to explain right here. So here we go, getting hit by a, a Lanoon, Lanoon, and yes, Fury Swipes is going to kick our butt right now. Okay, why are we slow? I do not know. So here we go, Overdrive for the win. Lanoon has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And, well, that's that. Okay. Huh. You would think... Okay, whatever. Get step aside. So, you defeat... So, the mission, it, it's very simple, guys. Just defeat the Team Yell Grunts and bam, you're moving on forward. So, let's go right ahead and... Let's see. Well, let's go with Shadow Blade right here. Really not that interesting. So let's go move on, and you'll see some guys walking out in just a little bit. And I think we've already defeated them. Okay, so here we have a Mr. Mime. There's some kind of invisible wall you can't get through no matter how you try. Oh, yeah? Now, if you turn backwards, you got the team yell grunts, and you'll be taking on the one that you haven't defeated yet. What's this? A gym challenger made it through? All his team yell members have blocked the way. Don't think we'll uh, we'll just let you waltz through. Nope. Nope. Uh, I, I get that it's gonna be a mission right here. So here we have another team yell member, and she's coming out with a feeble. A feeble. I love the little mustaches that it has. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, well, let's go beat up feeble for a little bit. So here we go, drill peg for the win. And yeah, tail slap on its fuzzy tail, and wow, this is a multiple attack. Holy crap, okay, so here we go, drill pick. That's right. Evil's not feeling so good right now, so here we go again, and oh, wow. You gotta love that foul play. Okay, so here goes again, drill pick, and Evil has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And, well, let's see, Team Yell Grunt has been defeated, so that's two, and I guess that Mr. Mine will get out of the way. That was totally unbelievable. Even my Pokemon are in awe of you and your team. Here, I'm gonna go on, check on Neon Signs while you're at it. Okay, all right, so the Neon Signs. And I guess Mr. Mime will actually let us through right here. Buddy, buddy. Okay. There's a Mr. Mime right there. Whoa. Okay, so it's pointing that way, okay. And, well, let's see, before we do anything, I see somebody on the mirror or the window. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Dreamzilla, you will evolve eventually. You know what? Let's go right ahead and... Okay, since we are, like, after this, we are going to go to... We're going to go to uh, the wild area. Let's just give it three, okay? I know it's going to increase it by, like, 30,000. And it's going to make... Well, it's right there, right along our Pokemon. So it's at level 47. Yes, I know. Whatever. But we're going to go into the wild area eventually and just start capturing and doing what we were supposed to do right here. And, well, look at this. I'm yelling for no reason. Wow. They are very athletic for their size. Did I surprise you? I'm a little surprised how much my legs hurt from all that landing. If I stand still like this for too long, I'll hurt so bad I might cry. So I'll shake it off with a battle. Alrighty, okay, so here we go. Another battle against Team Yell Grunt, and, well, they're coming out with a Scrafty right here. A shut off. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and... You know what, let's go with a Bounce Attack right here, because that seems a little stronger than, uh, than the original attack I wanted to hit it with. So it bounces, and the scarier face will not lower our speed. 
And there we go. We missed! Okay, so... Yeah, that's not fair. That is not fair. Okay, so the good thing is that we actually bought some full heals while we were at the Pokemon Center, so... Let's go right ahead and take advantage of that, and... Yeah, and... Oh, take advantage of that, and... And, and the, the, the Swagger attack right there. So here comes a Payback attack. Swagger, of course, increases our physical attack sharply, so that means... A little more, a little more boost uh, for the double kick right there. As you can see, bam, hits it pretty hard. Scrafty has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And, well, let's see. That was pretty much it right there for him. He's like, oh yeah, his leg big still hurting. Okay. So what's next? Well, it's true that I lost, but I pushed through the pain, so you could pra praise me for that. All right, now that the pain's gone, I let. Uh, I guess I'd better uh, get out of here. So he's leaving, and he's leaving, and I think this will probably get us towards the very end. I think could be wrong. And there's a seriously. Okay, so if that's the case, I gotta heal up my Pokemon first because, well. One can never be too sure. Let's see, we got that, grab that, and grab that. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this around. And where will they come out from? The HP of your Pokemon not looking so good! Wow! They are athletic, okay. So is this a double battle or nope, this is just a single battle. Never mind, so here we go. Taking on Team Meow Grunt, and she is coming out with her Weavile. Oh, yes, I picked the right Pokemon for this situation. All right, Weavile. Uh, we're going to bend it like Beckham right here. Pyro Ball. And look at that. Pyro Ball. Bending it like Beckham. Oh, yes. Say goodbye to Weavile. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. And, well, Kiss has grown to another level, and, well... Seriously, you gotta be kidding! It's over already? What? It is. It is totally over. I should have been practicing my battle skills, not my backflip skills. Thanks for showing me that. Guess I'll cheer for you from now on. Better. Shoot. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wish I could do that. I really wish. Okay, so that Mr. Mime is uh, moseying on out of here, and... Well... Let's go right ahead and... Continue our oh look at that we are towards the we are at the end of this whole thing So let's just go ahead and walk through this whole thing and team yell takes the field this might be oh good god come on And yeah, we have no way of escaping right here, so Yeah, we have to battle one of these jokers right here, so let's it's a double battle Okay, so here we go one guy has some one guy has some some pants that are way too tight for him, and the other one just, I don't know. I don't know, but here we have our two best Pokemon. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use a double kick on my Bert. And let's go with a drill pick on a Drapion. Alrighty, that's one kick. There's two kicks. How's it feel to fail? Not so good. Alrighty. And, well, my bird coming in, and look at that, we grow levels. Gotta love the leveling. And, well, let's see, here comes a Poison Fang. That right there can't be good, but here comes the Drill Pack. And the funny thing is that Drapion may look like a bug type, but it's really, I, I don't think it really is a bug type or something like that. Yeah, I don't think it's, I think it's a pure, well, it's a Poison and Dark type, I think. And there we go. Drapion defeated and look at that getting our points up and these guys are not happy they're definitely not happy okay so that's that and okay so oh yeah the gym leader's up next okay never mind all right let's let's move out of the way okay here we are towards the very end and well hello there shoot your gob oh Draven uh, I'm really sorry. The law from Spike Munt's telling me that they got they locked down the city for my sake. What? Spike Munt just keeps getting worse and worse, and all Pierce says is don't worry. 
so 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 we decided to disguise ourselves as Team Yell to sabotage the, uh, the other challengers. We thought if we could stop the other cha gym challengers from reaching the gym, then Miss Marnie would be the only one to win and make it to the Champion Cup. And we figured that we, that would increase the chances of our wonderful Miss Marnie becoming the new champion. <sighs> That's no way to help someone at all! Draven, no need to bother with all the preparations or whatever. Go on and face the gym leader. Okay. And wow. This looks more like a venue than anything. Okay. So before we uh, before we do this, before we go into a rumble, I am going to go with Michelangelo because, well, Michelangelo is pretty legit right here. And, well, let's see. Look at this place. Look at this. And, oh. Whoa. Team Yell's leader? This guy's singing. He's... I don't even know if he's rocking. What the heck is he doing? What... Look at the moves. What, what, what are you rocking to, homie? Oh, God. Okay, so I don't know what the deal is. I really don't know what the deal is right here. <laughs> so you're finally here, huh? See, I'm, I'm really not a great gym leader. Figured that's why nobody was coming to challenge me. I have good ears, so I overheard the whole thing about the city being shut up. When I was alone, it was all it was like my soul was weeping. This is a simple gym stadium. We can't even Dynamax our Pokemon. But well, I still hope you enjoy the battle. Uh oh. It's a rumble. It is a rumble. Oh wow. They Oh wow, okay, so now then. I'm Gym Leader of the Spike Month. Here's the Dark Type user. You want to challenge me even though you know you'll lose? Then this song's for you, foolish trainer. Get ready to get ready for a mosh pit with me and my party. Spike month, it's time to rock. Okay. So here it is, guys. Gym battle number seven against Gym Leader Pierce. And well, like you said, he is a dark type trainer. So he is not going to take anything lightly right here. And Michelangelo, let's get it. Let's go. Oh, wow. This guy's got some moves with his, uh... Yeah, he's got some moves with his microphone right there. So, because he did that, I'm actually going to be switching out my Pokemon to Shadow Blade right here. And, uh, well, you know, whatever happens, happens. Pretty sure Shadow Blade will actually, will actually take advantage of this. So, here's the Unnerve. And, well, here comes a Fake Out. Not much of a move since, you know, he's the one doing the first move. And here comes a Drill Peck attack. And that nearly takes care of Scrappy right there. So here comes the Brick Break. Nearly defeats Shadow Blade. So let's go one more time. A Drill, a drill Peck. And there we go. Scrappy defeated. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just like that, we grow more levels. And Malamar. You mean to tell me Malamar is in this thing? Okay, so let's see. Let's go straight to Blitzkrieg. Coming out with the Blitzkrieg buff. Because, well, yeah. Is it uh, the remote from, uh, from England or something? I don't know. So, here is Malamar. Pretty interesting po Pokemon. And a contrary ability. Huh. Overdrive. Let's go. Let's get it. Overdrive for the win. Nearly did it! And here comes that foul play right here. And that one hits us pretty hard. So let's go one more time with an overdrive. And just like that, Malamar has been defeated. Okay, alright. And well, let's see. Who is next? Obstagoon. Now, Obstagoon, we all know him. We know him all too well. I would use my Obstagoon, but this requires Bex's uh, strong legs. I don't know, it needs the strong legs and all that stuff. So here we go, Bex ready to go, and here comes Obstagoon. This guy... Meet the member, or the, meet the, another member of High Proud, Obstagoon. Okay, so Obstagoon obviously is a high attacker right here. And... Yeah, it's the uh, biggest weakness. Fighting type Pokemon. And, well, it does have some pretty good, uh, strong defenses, so here comes a counter-attack. That was exactly what it was waiting for. Holy jeebus. Okay. 
unbearable for the win. And here comes an obstruct. And I think we already know what happens right there. So the Pyroball hits it, but it protected ourselves. And that did not lower our... Well, that did not lower anything from us. So here comes a Pyroball for the win. And there we go. Obstagoon has been defeated. Oh, yes. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. Okay. And Boom Burst. So, Blitzkrieg is learning Boom Burst, a very, very powerful normal type attack. Let's go with the Flail right here. Don't need that anymore. And, well, look at that. Okay, so he's about to come out with a Skunk Tank. My dreaded enemy. Okay. Let's go with Kiss. Alrighty. So, we should... Be, it should be, you know, it should be pretty... It, like, you know, it, it is uh, poetic that we beat him with, you know, with the Pokemon he tried to beat us with. So here comes Skuntank. And this Pokemon right here is one of the more annoying Pokemon I ever had to face. So, yeah. Yeah, Toxic, Sucker Punch. This Pokemon will try and mess you up. So let's go with an Upstruck. Okay. Go ahead, attack me physically. And here comes the Sucker Punch. It doesn't work. Let's try that again. Obstruct and it failed. Good gravy. I hate you. Okay, so yeah. That wasn't gonna work at all. Kiss. Oh god. Okay, so I I, I sort of I sort of had that like I, I sort of had that coming to me. So let's go ahead and switch out Pokemon right here. Let's go! Michelangelo! Okay, Michelangelo ready to go. And well, here comes the screech attack. That will sharp. Well, that will lower our, de our defense very, very like harshly and stuff. So let's go straight for a dig attack right here. And this guy is gonna try and poison us as much as he can. Now toxic. With every turn, it decreases your HP immensely. So just be aware of that, guys. And here we are, going into dig. This guy. Yeah, even though he's not doing anything, he's still going to beat us, or he's still going to do something to us. But here comes the dig attack, and that nearly defeats Skuntank. And, well, Shell Bell gives us a little bit. Toxic is going to take a lot. So, I would say it, it probably has like three turns left, maybe even two. And that Sucker Punch right there. Yeah, okay, so Sucker Punch. So we got to hit this guy in the next turn, or else we will faint, because... Look at that. So here we go, Sucker Punch, and here comes the dig attack for the win. Eat it, Skun Tank. I hate you. And Aftermath takes all of our HP. Very, very strategic right there. But we do win this match. Okay. Throwing out the peace sign. That's right. And he's like, <laughs> me and my team give me this miss. Let's meet up for a battle again sometime. Wow, he just... <laughs> wow. Anywho, he's getting back up and he's... Uh, he's like... I'm glad we were able to battle. Seems like my Pokemon feel the same way. Okay. We're gonna do the Shake of Honor, you know, Ring of Honor style. Here's your dark badge. Shake of Honor. Everything's honorable, and there it is, guys. We've earned our seventh badge, and, well, everybody's crying because, well, the hero has lost. And now we can capture Pokemon up to level 55. Here's a uniform, too. I've actually been thinking about just selling them at my concerts. Yeah, well, you know, that's pretty good and all that crud. My little sis Marnie's going to challenge me next, I bet. Really? Little sister, huh? That was actually kind of sweet. So you were watching, sis. You won't learn anything from seeing me lose. I was watching your battle? Bro, it's how I learned how to battle in all that. That's right. That reminds me, Marnie. There's something I wanted to tell you. I wanted, to, I wanted you to take over the gym here in Spike Month as its gym leader. Yeah, I know. You'd plan to retire after the Champions Cup, right? I think you've uh, I think you've really become a great gym leader, even if you don't Dynamax your Pokemon. I love you, but my answer is a big fat no. I mean, 
when I end up becoming champion, I won't be able to be a gym leader. Good point. In that case, let your big uh, let let your big bro see if you uh, you have the skill to be champion. Hey, Draven, thanks for having an amazing Pokemon battle with my brother. It's my turn. It's my turn next, so clear off uh, for a bit, okay? All right, whatever you say, baby. Okay. So just because of that, we earned ourselves a TM85, which is Snarl. It's a very good move. You use your yells as it's ranting about something, which lowers the special attack of uh, attack stats of its opposing yet uh, Pokemon. And well, something's going on. Hey there, there's something. Uh, there's trouble at Route Nine. It's so bad, even the champion come uh, to sort things out. Oh hey, you gave Pierce a thrashing, didn't you? You should head over to uh, to help. Okay, come on then, let's go. Okay, whatever. Uh, wh what the heck is going on? Okay, what is going on? Well, we're walking out and kaboom! Oh wow, there he is, Draven. Thanks for coming, but I've got the I've, I've got a handle on this. Whatever's making that noise, I'll see to it. I've already told you, didn't I? Keep an eye out on the goal, and for you, that's winning the gym challenge. The only gym badge left is the one is the one you'll get uh, from the dragon or dragon gym leader Ryan, right? Ryan is the only trainer out there that I consider a real rival. He's that good, you know. Hmm. Really? And there I go again. Sorry, but I suppose this is no time for me to stop you now for a chat. There's a bit of trouble here with my name on it. But don't you worry about a thing. The unbeatable champion is here for a look after things and keep you all safe. Oh wow! What the heck is going on? Something is afoot. That came from the tunnel, wouldn't you say? Seems I'm about to have a champion time. Okay. Normally I would stop here, but we kind of need to get to the next town. It's not that far, guys. So let's just go straight ahead and let this uh, this whole series of events happen right here. So here we are in the Route, route 9 tunnel. And, well, Leon's kicking some butt, taking some names. And why aren't you moving? Good God! People, seriously. Jesus Christ. Okay, so here we are going across the Route 9 tunnel, and oh, great. It's up. Draven! This is mad! You know what I mean! Where's Leon? That's what I'd like to know! That noise, it was like massive explosion! There was a huge surge of red light, and then wild Pokemon just started Dynamaxing around me. Brazen as you like! Okay. So, what is going on here? And, well, take a look at these news, or the news! And, yeah, Leon, he's standing right there in front of a, well, one of those Dynamax Pokemon. Look at that! He, he's like, see? There's Lee! He's really the greatest, right? Huh. Well, he kicked, he definitely kicks a butt! Lee and his Charizard took down the Dynamax Pokemon in a blink of an eye. I knew Lee was uh, was strong, but this really makes you appreciate how great he is, eh? Let's go meet up with him, Draven. He should be at Hammerlock Stadium. Oh, great. Okay, so yes, again, we have to go go follow uh, Hop because, well, you know, he you know he's living off the coattails of his brother, and uh, completely forgot to battle this guy, this Heisenberg-looking mother lover. Holy crud! He does look like the British version of Heisenberg. So here we are taking on Gentleman Caden, and he is coming with his Dewblade. I remember having a Dewblade. Dewblade is pretty awesome. It is a steel type Pokemon, though. Okay, so here we go. Jawlock. And, well, let's see. The Iron Head ready to go, and that actually hits us pretty good, but not as good as this right here. Here we go with another Jawlock. Oh wow, so I think the, the events of, well, the legendary events are about to happen, or no, they actually happen after the, yeah, okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm ways away right there, and Gentleman Kaden is about to come out with the Poltergeist, so let's go ahead and switch that out, I do have Kiss, so it is a dark type Pokemon, so it should work out, now, here's what I was thinking too, guys, I was actually thinking of, uh, probably switching up a Pokemon here and there, Maybe switching out uh, Corviknight because 
it just, it, 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 for some reason, it, it just feels like I need to actually switch out some Pokemon to make this team a little bit more fluid, a little bit more powerful going into what will be the final gym battle and the Pokemon League battle. And, well, passing me in. What is that? Oh, yeah, it's that. Passing me in. Oh, it's that guy. Okay, completely forgot about him. So, yeah, we're going to try and figure that out. So here comes a C-Bomb. And that one doesn't really do much. So here comes a double-edged attack. Hitting us like a football player. Okay. And, well, let's go straight for a C-Bomb right here. And... That nearly takes out the CBM. But look at this guy. This guy is just like, you know, going straight for the... Oh, wow. He's, he's trying to beat himself up by beating us. So here we go. One more time. Seed Bomb. And there we go. Seed Bomb for the win. All right. Okay. So there we go. We go into the level. And, well, just like that, Heisenberg has been defeated. Don't ever remember beating or taking on him. Yeah, yeah. I've been here. I just didn't take it. Oh, crap, Baskets. Yeah, I didn't battle any of these people. Huh. Well, so this has been an extended episode of our... Of, of the, the episode that was supposed to be just the gym battle. Probably should have just, uh... Yeah. Eh, anywho, whatever. I probably should have just, like, uh... What was it called? I probably should have ended it right over at Spike Month, but... I think... Oh yeah, I'm doing this. Uh, I'm doing this because of what was it called again? Yeah, I was. I'm doing this because I kind of want to go to the wild area, capture some Pokemon, get some, get some. I got a lot of experience points, guys. Just a lot of them. So here comes a Vespa Queen. Very scary Pokemon at pressure. Could be a legendary Pokemon with pressure, but guess what? Rock Tomb will do its trick right here. And Rock Tomb does its trick. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. So there we go, another healed. And we're gonna get another level right there. So there we go, level 47. And Mila has been defeated. Yes. Okay. Is there anybody else that I didn't beat here? Oh! Okay, I want you. So here it is, guys, a more Pico. I. Honestly, I've never caught this Pokemon before. What a better way to top this whole thing off than just to capture it. So, let's see. Do we have a quick ball here somewhere? Is it quick? I don't know. No, we don't have a quick ball. Crap baskets. Okay. Oh, there it is. All right, quick ball. Let's see what we can do. All right, this Pikachu-looking mother grabber. Two. Three. There we go. Caught it. Throwing out the peace sign. And yes, this is the first time ever I'm capturing a more Pico. Oh my god, we are, we are on fire right here, and look at this, more Pico, one foot, six pounds of cuteness, two-sided Pokemon, that is so true. As it eats the seeds stored up in its uh, pocket-like pouches, this Pokemon is not just satisfying its constant hunger, it's also generating electricity. Holy crud, okay, so that's a pretty good Pokemon right there, going to send it to the box. Wow, okay, so that, that was just luck right there, and... Ah, oh, gravy. I, I, I sort of sense hop in the way. I really do. Oh, God. Can't get rid of that kid. And, well, here we are back in Hammerlock. And that's the location of the last gym battle that we have to actually go through. And probably the place where we actually, you know... Well, the, where these bangs are happening and all that crud. And, well, let's see. I don't know. I'm trying to look for somebody here. No, I'm looking for anybody, but... Once we get to the very, very entrance of this whole place right here, then it'll make, it'll make sense with everything. So let's see, what do we have? Look at that. Okay, so there's Hop, there's Leon, and there's Sonya. And... Well, let's see what's going on. Well, is it Draven? I'd expect nothing less from you and your Charizard, Leon. You took down a Dynamax Pokemon in no time at all. Well, I am the unbeatable champion after all. But what is it? But what, uh, what all is going on here? In over following red light, Pokemon Dynamaxing without a, sp a power spot. Yeah, but why? I'm not sure uh, what's going on. Mm, the red light could suddenly appear again at any time, and we have no way of knowing it. 
And well, look at that. Grandma's here. He's like, but but being a or but being able to predict such things is part of being a scientist's work or part of the scientist's work. Grant? The chairman called me, called for me. He wanted to know all about the red light's relationship to the Dynamax phenomena. Did the chairman know anything? Nothing worth my time. The chairman all the chairman's wrapped are all wrapped up fretting over the future of our energy, apparently. He left everything to the executive's lady. We don't have eno enough data. That's why I wanted to ask you to start looking into things too, Sonia. You know more you know more than anything about the darkest day after all. Are you saying the red light and the darkest day are connected? Probably. Hey, do you reckon there's anything uh, we could do to help out? There must be, yeah. Okay, what is uh okay, what's going on right here? My hat looks pretty cool from the backside right here. Thanks, I appreciate the I appreciate the thought. But all I could ever ask you of you would be that you join me in the greatest final match ever. I'll do my part to take uh to make that happen by keeping everybody's future safe. So you just keep on doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. Right course. Oh crap, this kid is seriously, he's he's on cocaine or something. You're in a, you're the unbeatable champion after all, eh? Grin, there's something I want to look into. You'll help me, right? Naturally. Well, that's a that's that's kind of a I don't know. Looks like we all know what we need to do. So you two clear the gym challenge so we can meet up again at the Champion Cup. And I don't know what the cape's all about. And this guy, oh god, I know what I need to do. All right, defeat Pierce once and for all. You're off to Hammerlock Stadium, yeah, Draven. Ryan's tough nut to, uh, nut to crack. He is. And, well, the last gym battle is going to be right here, where it all started off. And, uh, well, you guys got to stay tuned for that one, because that one's going to be a pretty nifty one. So, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do what I was supposed to do uh, before episode 20, and that was, like, you know, train up my Pokemon, uh, do some things, maybe switch up a few things, and all that crud. A lot of things, you know, because I'm saying things a lot. Anywho, guys... Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for being patient with me. In the next episode, we will be going up against Ryan, the last gym leader of the Galar region. Um, stay tuned. Yeah. And uh, if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, link's in the description. Click that heart button right there if you guys want to. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode as we take on Ryan.